Welcome to this Google Drive screencast where we're looking at how to organize and access work with students. In this screencast specifically, we're going to take a look at another option for collecting files from students. Specifically, we're going to show how a student can create and share a folder to the teacher, and we'll refer to this as a turn-in folder for assignments. This method is good for middle or high school students. So when naming the folder, in this example, we're going to say for middle school and high school, it's best to name the folder by the class hour, then a space, then the last name of the student, then a space, and then the class. So here's an example. For a second hour language arts class, we're going to say that the student in this case is Hank McCoy. So the student creates a folder, titles it 2 for the class hour. McCoy is the student's last name, and he's going to call this Lang Arts or Math or Science or whatever class that might happen to be. So let's take a look at what this looks like now in Google Drive. So here I am in the student account. So we'll start by creating that folder we just talked about. We'll go to create folder. Hank has this class second hour, so it's going to be a two, followed by a space, student's last name, which is McCoy, space, and we said Lang Arts. So we'll hit create. So that folder gets created, but it's not yet shared to the teacher. So what the student has to do is come over to the folder and click on the little option arrow here go to share and go to share again and you're gonna type in the name of the teacher so it's good to type the teacher's last name that brings it up a lot quicker you're gonna click on the teacher's last name making sure that their Google email address is in there teacher should have edit rights to this folder so make sure that says can edit and because the student is sharing these all the students are sharing these to the folders please uncheck the notify by email you don't need to send an email message uh, so that way the teacher doesn't get 30 email messages per class Going to hit share and save. You're going to get a message that says you're skipping the invitation. That is OK. And now it says that Mr. Kafka is now an editor of this folder that the student created. So what does this do? A few things. One, the folder now has a little person on it, meaning that that folder is shared. If I click back on my drive, let's say that Hank was working on a narrative for that class. So here's a document that was assigned by Mr. Kafka and Hank has already named the document correctly. This is going to be a narrative essay, so the teacher instructed Hank to name it to McCoy Narrative. So Hank will continue writing his paper in here. What Hank is going to do is he's going to checkbox this assignment and click the little folder button here, move to, and he's going to make sure that that goes into that folder. It's a good idea to put the assignments in the folder right away when you start them. This way the teacher can go and check on the writing that's occurring over that time or check on the assignment or pop in and out of the file maybe give some feedback so that's the student setup piece so now that this file since this files in this folder that means that the teacher can now see it anything in here is shared between just the student and the teacher let's take a look at the teacher side of things I'm gonna flip over to Mr. Kafka's account and that folder was shared to Mr. Kafka so that means it's gonna be in the shared with me area so here is the folder Again, click on share date. This shows whatever was shared most recently, so it's a good idea if the teacher does this soon after the students have shared their folders. What's nice is if the students have all shared their folders, the teacher can check one in the list here, hold down shift, check the last one, and can click move to, and you can make a folder for that class. So this is second hour, so as the teacher, I might want to put all of these in an hour two folder. So I'm going to click create new folder, call this hour two, and so I'm not changing anything with those folders. I'm just making an hour two folder for my students. So that looks like that's done. I hit move. So now, rather than having to go and dig through shared with me all the time to find student files, I can just go in the my drive here on the left side down to hour two, and here's all the student folders. So I can pop in and out of these folders. I can open up the students' assignments. There's Hank's assignment, leave some comments. Um, just makes a nice easy workflow. We'll show in another screencast coming up how you can also take this a step further and when the student finishes an assignment the student can fill out a form with a link to that assignment and it makes it a lot more easier for the teacher everything goes into one spreadsheet. We'll show that in an upcoming screencast. But that is how you set up a student turn-in folder. Thanks for watching.